What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got a few things here I want to go over. So, I'm going to be going over the best player to choose, in my personal opinion. Always remember that. When it comes to the pre order Curative Legend Fantasy Pack, guys. So, as you guys do know, this was added to the pre orders for Madden 22. You now get a power up Brady or Mahomes and an Elite Passer Strategy item. But if you don't remember, if you did get the like Dynasty Edition, the top edition, you also do get a Brady 88 or Mahomes 88 nat card right now the thing with this is at first people thought it was just going to be mahomes versus brady which was pretty obvious you're taking mahomes usually but it turns out they come with two other legends as well that are going to be nat so my brady comes to two mahomes comes to two i'm gonna go over now you can only get these guys with that set so mahomes has his two guys and brady has his two guys right so whichever so even if you like let's say you like mahomes better than brady but you like brady's legends better maybe you go with them because that's two legends versus you know just one guy right so I'm going to go over what's the best one to take, kind of how this works and everything else. Before we get into the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below, boys. Come join the family. Let's keep getting some momentum going into Madden 22. Super excited to get our channel back to where it once was. Comment down below if you, who you're going to be personally taking. I'll give you guys my opinion towards the end, or you might be able to tell at some point. Also, smash the like button. Can we get 25 likes in this video as well, guys? Likes help the channel out a lot. So if you're a casual watcher, every if you're always watching my videos, liking is the best thing you guys can do for me. So thank you. Let's get into it. Oh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, down below in the description, you will see a link. So hit that. Anyways, so like I said, there's two things to choose. Now, for most people, guys, you aren't going to be getting these until August 20th. So, with well, the actual launch. So, to explain this in depth, is pretty much this. Um, typically, you guys will get the game for EA Access early on the 12th, but you don't get all your pre-order stuff typically till the day of actual launch or the earliest possible launch if it's three days before, or two days, whatever. So, keep that in mind. So, don't, don't go freaking out when you don't see it. So there's going to be two packs to choose, right? So this is it right here. This is part of it that was added to the pre-order. So the Elite Passer strategy item is actually pretty cool. It's an uncommon, which can be used, which I'll go over in a later video. And then, of course, you have Brady versus Mahomes. Now, these power-ups are going to be pretty cheap, so don't get too excited about them. At the end of the day, you're going to get two power-ups. And not to mention, Brady, uh, Mahomes is going to be part of a Chiefs Team Fantasy Pack, as per usual, which always kind of kills the value as well. So don't think you're getting a great value with these, but you are going to be getting an easy way to power them up day one. Now I'm spending money. So, moving on. This is the Brady Power-Up 75, which is just 77 throw power. This doesn't really matter. It's just the power-up. Power-Up card art looks pretty cool, though. Then we got Mahomes. 82 throw power. Off the rip, you're probably going to be able to use the Mahomes. The Mahomes quarterback power-up is a lot better than the Brady. So, if for whatever reason, day one, you're running solos, Mahomes is going to be able to rock there until you get your other one. Um, elite passer item is something you get here as well. So here are the full Nat cards. Of course, they can be powered up, so also you know attribute an extra plus one to their stats and some other stuff. But here you go. This Tom Brady right here is gonna be an 87 overall on the Buccaneers. Pretty cool card art, not gonna lie. It's EA play card art. Now, 50 speed is not gonna be usable, of course, but you do get 83 throw power. Decent, below average, not great. 89 shorts, great, 88 mediums, great, 84 deeps, a little bit low. 80 throw under pressure, 75 throw on the run, 89 play action. Great pocket passer quarterback. But again, if Mahomes, if Mahomes passing stats are anywhere near his, you're obviously going to take Mahomes in terms of who's better because he's going to be a little bit more mobile. But the Brady's not bad. Powered up and coming up, guys, he will get the short accuracy. Uh, if you put a lead passer on the team, he'll probably get short and medium above 90 as well as play action. His deep may just fall short like one or two points, which maybe you could work on with some more strategy cards, which we'll get into later, like I said. Next, we have Patrick Mahomes. 88 overall so off the rip he's plus one overall so you're getting a better card to begin with which is important because at this point in the year guys every overall matters and 84 is you know an 84 versus an 85 is a big difference 85 versus 86 so getting a plus one means that you can have them a little bit longer if you could power them up to an 89 if you think about that because that means until there's consistent 90 overall quarterbacks Mahomes could still be in contention for the best one so power up and chemed up well off the rip right 71 speed beats brady 88 throw power, really good throw power, significantly beats Brady. 88 short, 84 medium, 86 deep, 87 throw under pressure, 89 throw on the run, 87 play action. Personally, I think his passing stats are more well-rounded and better, as well as the throw power, as well as the speed. So it's a no-brainer, Mahomes over Brady in terms of the cards. Again, they have separate legends, so if you like those legends better, that could sway your opinion. Now, Mahomes powered up, will get throw power above 90 probably, or at least 89, at least. A uh, short will be above 90 with elite passer. So will deep accuracy, and I think medium could fall short as well by one. But again, still a really, really good card, especially for day one of Madden. Very, very good. Now, let's get into the legend. So Brady's first legend is going to be showing up right here uh, after this pack screen, of course. I just want to show you guys the art really quick. 
I think these packs are super cool. I hope they do incorporate more. Like, that actually looks like a real pack of cards, right? Like, when you buy, when you buy like, the tens with the cards inside of them. I do really like that. I hope they incorporate this a lot more this year versus the generic little boxes we get. So, this is cool. Um, of course, the Mahomes on the front. Super Bowl Mahomes jersey. And then you got Brady uh, Super Bowl as well. Definitely cool packs. So, let's get into this so you can see the first one. We have Wes Welker. So, if you pick Brady, you will be getting a Wes Welker as well. 85 overall. High overall to start the year, of course. 86 speed for Wes Welker is really good. Uh, Wes Welker typically doesn't get the greatest speeds in Madden. He's usually a little behind. Usually a pretty good route runner. Really great at catching traffic and catching. But his speed always falls behind. So to get an 86 speed day one makes him a pretty good card. If you're a Patriots guy, of course, great theme team. You could be building with Mahomes. I mean, I'm sorry, Brady and Wes Welker already. And of course, so he has 85 catching, 84 catching traffic, 83 spec. Very good catching stats. Uh, low 80 route running. Good enough for the thresholds anyways. Or close to it at least then of course you could put some strategy cards in him and the 86 speed next we have rodney harrison another patriots legend right here 84 speed though a little bit low for my standards considering he is a safety and there's already going to be like a trevon morig at a 90 84 excel 85 tackle 85 play rec 85 zone 84 hit power super well-rounded typical patriot player just well-rounded all around he's pretty tall as well i think but yeah overall this card's gonna be pretty good. Um, pretty sorry, decent. I don't think he's gonna be good. His speed's a little bit too low for my liking. But again, you put him in the box would be probably a great run stuffing safety as well as you know sitting out or put him at linebacker to start the year. Again, if you're a Patriots guy, you're gonna go with these guys regardless. But they're not horrible. But let's compare them to Mahomes, right? So now we got Randy Moss for Mahomes. So for most people, this might be the deal breaker once you see a Moss. Moss is 87 speed, so he's gonna be one faster than West Welker. He's gonna be like four or five inches taller than West Welker. 88 jumping. 83 catching 81 catching traffic 84 spec 79 short 79 medium 84 deep now i really really hope they do allow you to power these cards up uh when the actual cards you could toss them in so that you when the legend comes out you can power them up if you can't afford the legend or so you can just use these as part of the train if not they'll just be natural quick sell later but off the rip guys he's gonna be a spectacular deep route a uh, deep guy his deep route running will be great at an 84 you know great enough with 87 speed already Gonna be a good, good day one card. I mean, off the rip, Mahomes, Summit, Randy Moss is gonna be ready to be pretty, pretty crazy. And then, of course, guys, for the next one, which is even crazier in my opinion, you get Deion Sanders. Now, what doesn't make sense to me here is how did you get two, you know, Tom Brady teammates, and then on the other end, you just got two of the best high name legends in Madden ever, every year, Randy Moss and Deion. Deion Sanders has an 88 speed, insane to start the year. He will be able to pretty much, he'll be able to play on Tyree Kill pretty much no problem. 88 excel 88 agility gonna be one of the most athletic corners in the game 86 jumping 84 play rec 84 man 83 zone 71 press of course no press as per usual but that speed and you know Dion just plays different he has like spec catch and good catching stats so he gets like crazy animations Dion's gonna be a great day one card and he actually may be a good like first few weeks card you can even put him at cornerback four cornerback three at some point but that's pretty much the whole thing right there right so we have brady welker and rodney harrison on the other end you got mahomes dion and randy name wise right you take mahomes over brady you take dion and you take randy moss i mean it's just to me it's a no-brainer i'm personally gonna be taking the mahomes package because i could start all three of these guys i don't think randy rodney harrison would start for me and i don't think west welker would start for me either maybe like day one of course but like after a few days once i got like tyree kill and devonta smith and so on and so forth jamar chase i think it's kind of a no-brainer but deon sanders at a depth position is great randy and dion are both depth positions depth positions and in my opinion i think i'd rather take them i mean it, it seems like a no-brainer to me dion's gonna be crazy i mean 88 speed day one and if you could power him up which you know i don't think you can power this card up now i think it would be like when legends come out and dion gets dropped you could throw him in maybe again they'll probably announce it at a later date but overall super cool i think Mahomes is the clear-cut choice here again it's your opinion if you want a patriots team team like you're a patriots fan of course take your patriots because that's what you're gonna be doing anyways give you a big jump boost on early in the year on theme teams over here, of course, you're not getting any consistency. It's Randy Moss on the Vikings. It's Deion on the Cowboys and Mahomes on the Chiefs. But Mahomes is a better QB. Deion's a better defender than Rodney Harrison. And Randy Moss is a better wide receiver. They almost beat them in every single spot. Kind of a no-brainer to me. But that's it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you are into the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below and let me know which one you guys are taking or which card are you most excited for out of the six, right? Forget who you're taking. Like, if you could just get Wes Welker, you could just get Dion, or just get Randy, or just get Harrison, who would you pick, right? Or what would be your custom your custom build? Would it be Dion and Wes Welker instead, or what would you do? But that's about it. Subscribe, smash the like button. Let's get to 25 likes on this video. And thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.